Just headed down to this creek here. We're gonna check out a couple veins and explore the area. Small little canyon with uh, some nice veins, so we'll see what else we can find. Let's head down there. Nothing like a sunny day. Water levels are good, so we should be able to go down quite a ways. This is the first area we want to check out. You can see the oxidation. And uh, last year, we found some quartz here with pyrite and minor calcal pyrite. So we want to hammer away at this a bit. So you can see the quartz right there. And there's sporadic mineral throughout. All this quartz here. This is the only sample I could find that was left over. And this uh, is mostly pyrite, but you have calcopyrite in there. And we got some good results for this for gold and silver. So we want to pull some nice samples off of this because we're going to be sending in some for assays probably in the future. So this creek behind me runs all the way up about a kilometer, kilometer and a half and goes all the way down to a river. This is actually one giant fault runs on either side of this creek and through the creek at times. A major fault at the top. There's a couple uh, major deposits that were mined out about 120 years ago. So there's definite potential for these veins to be connected to something on the outside. And down below we found uh, what we call our blue clay deposit, or at least one of them. And uh, we got good mineralization. This is 100 meters outside of the creek. So I'll show you a couple samples I just pulled off right now. So this is just one I uh, pulled out of right here. You have quartz as your gang material and that's hosting calcopyrite right there and pyrite down in here so that's just a basic sample this whole area is loaded with this stuff and this is hosted this quartz vein is hosted in a uh, schistose rock right here this is a Schist. Occasionally there's some mica in there and occasionally you have chlorite. In your host rock you have 1 to 2 percent disseminated pyrite on occasion, especially where you're in the vicinity of areas like this. Removed a few chunks here from this. Basically just uh, one solid vein here with a bit of quartz. We'll break these open a bit, get a better look. Here's those samples, and as you can see, just gorgeous. Some nice mineralization. There's something interesting about this property and these samples. There's a lot of barren quartz with nothing in it. And when you hammer it, often you see mineralization and it's in contact with your host rock and your quartz vein. And what it looks like is a lot of the mineral is deposited between the two. So you almost don't want to discount even the barren quartz veins because so far we've looked at 
about four of them now that we almost rode off before, but we hammered into them and the, the mineralization isn't in the quartz, other than minimally. And what I'm seeing in these quartz veins as well, pyrite, calcopyrite, but you actually have sphalerite in there as well. So there's definitely some zinc values in there. And my guess is these are VMS associated, which is typical for this property, Kuroko type VMS. Definitely zinc in there. We're only about 10 meters down from that last spot and you can see another area exactly like that. You can see the oxidation all over the place. We're not going to stop at every area because every area is basically similar to that last one other than a few. Which we want to go check out if we can make it down there. So there's just small stringer veins everywhere. The biggest one that we found is probably about 30 centimeters wide. There's a good dozen or two of them. Another one running down there in the creek. Another one up there. This big hunk right there is a quartz vein and that's barren. It's about a meter wide. So it'd be nice to rip that out eventually. Another interesting one, you can see the oxidation right there. Continue up here. This is a giant hunk of quartz that goes down like that and you can see there's areas of mineralization making its way out i bet you this whole area just at depth has some nice veining and nice mineral another nice vein here quartz up there about 30 centimeters wide down here beside it you have a nice solid mass of mineral about five centimeters thick and that's just solid pyrite so here's a new vein it's amazing the power of water this right here is easily a 30 centimeter wide solid vein of mineral this is solid mineral I'm going to try and get a little chunk out of there but this goes right up the center of the creek here I broke a little chunk off the rest kind of washed away but look at that pyrite and calcopyrite just a solid hunk of mineral that's easily 10-12 uh, centimeters wide so there's another half that I couldn't get off. Easily a 30 centimeter vein. So the vein was in the middle of that little waterfall there. And it obviously continues down here. You got mineralization there, you got mineralization there. That's a giant quartz vein. You got another 10 centimeter wide hunk right there. Over here, you got uh, some really nice calcopyrite exposed in here. So basically, this is just one giant quartz vein, most likely, with lots of little stringers coming off of it. And uh, occasionally you have mineralization in the quartz, and that mineralization is usually calcopyrite followed by mineralization around the outside with calcopyrite, sphalerite, pyrite. So we're gonna work this area a bit and we'll show you a whole bunch of samples at the end. So here's just a few that we hammered out. It's just loaded with mineral. A lot of these samples will be probably about three, four percent copper where it's just mostly iron pyrite. All these other ones where you have calcopyrite like this, 
those will be a good 20% copper with uh, good gold, good silver, bit of lead, bit of zinc. So this is all chalcopyrite in here. This was a chunk beside the vein. Just gorgeous samples. Take a look at this. This is just a solid, massive mineral here. Got another big hunk right here. So it's just loaded. Okay, and take a look. We got another vein here. This is 10 centimeters wide. I'll pull a piece out right now just to show you. So just loaded. This is just solid mineral. Take a look over here. Some really nice calcopyrite following the quartz and this goes all the way down to about a hundred meters down this creek so definitely a really promising area we'll pull a couple more samples before we finish up lost beauties take a look at that All these samples are just gorgeous. Definitely got some high grade copper here. So that's it guys, we're gonna make our way out. Hope you enjoyed the video. We'll see you guys at the next one.